Dear doctors, welcome to EasyMed. So today we are going to briefly talk about brucellosis. So brucellosis is basically, as you know, caused by the bacterium brucella. Now this bacteria brucella, this is a gram negative bacteria. It's a gram negative bacteria. Uh, that means it doesn't retain the gram stain. A coccobacilli, you know, what is coccobacilli? Coccobacilli is uh, both a comma shaped and a rod shaped. Okay, it's like uh, they they stay in both of the groups you know they're like politicians who change their parties all the time uh, just kidding uh, so they look like this so see they are both comma shaped and they are uh, rod shaped as well somewhat bean shaped so these are coccobacilli and these are obligate aerobes Ob by obligate aerobes we mean that they uh, required O2 for uh, vital functionings for metabolizing fats and carbohydrates now these are zoonotic uh, zoonotic that is the transmission of infection is from animal to human the transmission of infection is from animal to human now interestingly the first subtype or the first type of uh, brucella, brucella uh, which was isolated this was uh, B. Melitensis. Now, this B. Melitensis was isolated by a person called uh, David Bruce. Now, this David Bruce, so from uh, Bruce, we have all the names of Brucella. What are the other types of Brucella we have? So, uh, we, let's, let's first discuss the other types of Brucella that we know okay so types these are uh, we will just talk about the most important types and more most frequently encountered types so b militensis as we already says said this is found in uh, goats uh, and sheeps then we have b abortus or brucella abortus this is found in cattle cattle animals like cows then we have the b canis b canis found in dogs we have uh, b suis okay found in pigs and b neo tomai that is found in rats or other rodents now coming to the culture media the culture media is um, the culture media is castaneda media and this castaneda media is a biphasic media uh, which is both solid and liquid and the transmission now the transmission uh, most uh, commonly occurring transmission is direct contact so direct contact is the most common cause other causes are foodborne it may be foodborne transmission or it may be inhalation transmission what do you mean by direct contact direct contact means coming in contact with the blood of the animal the urine of the animal blood urine of the animal or some uh, or maybe maybe vaginal discharge vaginal discharge of the animal or placenta even placenta so this all brings uh, these are all the direct contacts it may be foodborne it may be inhalation actually very interesting in some uh, far eastern parts of russia uh, as i know in some far eastern part of russia there are some primitive tribes they actually uh, eat raw uncooked uh, food meat uh, meat of uh, cows beef or meat of goats they uh, eat it raw and uncooked uh, to sustain them in uh, freezing cold weather of minus 50 minus 60 and 
immense number of brucella patients have been recorded there by russian physicians staying at that part of the country now coming to pathogenesis the pathogenesis is basically like this the pathogenesis is basically like this the lymph nodes get affected the lymph nodes get affected then they multiply naturally then transmission is through blood there is they dis, uh, they move around through the bloodstream then uh, that is they disseminate around the body they disseminate around the body and they mainly affects mainly affects the reticulo endothelial system the main symptoms of brucella so the main symptoms are fever fever lymphadenopathy splenomegaly and maculopapular rash and maculopapular rash so the fever here the fever here is very typical uh, you may identify uh, maybe at looking at the patient you may identify what the fever here uh, is that is uh, during the day during the day the temperature goes up but at night at night the temperature is normal this is a very typical uh, finding it's a very typical finding in uh, fever of brucellosis now you can find apart from this you can find a triad you can find a triad of symptom how the triad looks like you will have hepato splenomegaly hepatosplenomegaly there will be arthritis and night sweat now maculopapular rash this is how the maculopapular rash looks like many of the bacterial or viral infections have characteristic rashes for example uh, other than brucella just uh, giving an example uh, Men, uh, meningococcal infection a meningococcal infection gives a uh, star shaped rash star shaped rash um, so maculopapular rash then the investigation the investigation for the investigation the bone marrow aspiration or splenic aspiration might be taken complete blood culture is usually uh, done it's a necessity and uh, standard agglutination test is done now most of the time this standard agglutination or sad b gives a false uh, false negative result it gives a false negative result the most reliable test as usual is the elisa and in animals in animal inoculation system whey agglutination test and uh, milk ring test can be done treatment of uh, brucellosis the the general regime which is used in the treatment of brucellosis is streptomycin plus doxycycline or rifampicin plus doxycycline that is one tetracycline is always used one tetracycline is always used and this is prescribed for six weeks yes it's a long therapy it is prescribed for six weeks and now there is one question here the question is if if there is a child if there is a child infected by brussel brussela the child has brucellosis and the child is less than um eight years or 12 years even shall you give doxycycline will you give doxycycline no you cannot give doxycycline to such an young adult a uh, young uh, young individual you cannot give doxycycline to such an young individual because doxycycline restricts bone development in young individuals so you have to go for other antibiotics the preferred anti antibiotics uh, in these case may be ciprofloxacin or it may be 
azithromycin be very careful even from this group never give never give erythromycin to children it is better to avoid erythromycin in children because there are a lot of complications respiratory or uh, complications in the gastrointestinal tract might arise because of use of erythromycin as well so if there is a child less than 8 years or 12 years of age go for with streptomycin or rifampicin regime go for ciprofloxacin or azithromycin prevention as per, as of now there are no preventive vaccines against brucella the only vaccines which are uh, given to animals there are some animal vaccines and this s19 candidate is the most successful most successful among the lot so thank you dear doctors and medicos who i'm doing this job uh, and sharing my knowledge with you trying to imbibe all the time please do like share and subscribe it amongst your friends uh, share it amongst your friends and subscribe to my channel and support it thank you